Hi there, welcome to another training video with Finale Music Lessons at finalemusiclessons.com. Today we're going to be talking about a situation where you might want to delete only certain things in your score. So let's say I have this uh, song up and I just want to get rid of the chords. Don't want to get rid of anything else. Now you could individually select every single chord using the, uh, the smart tool here, but that would take you a while. Why not uh, select and delete only the chords in this page. Now, if you've never selected this kind of stuff before, you just left click here, hold your shift key down while you select with your mouse here, and you can select the whole uh, section there. Um, and there's two ways to get to the uh, delete part. You can either right click, and you see right here clear selected items or you can go up to edit up here in the same thing clear selected items now if you notice um, this whole box comes up and usually I just kinda clear that out and I say right up here I wanna select chords and fretboards click OK if you notice all the chords disappear alright let's back up for a second say you know, I just wanna get rid of the lyrics well I would do the same thing edit clear selected items in this case, um, click on lyrics. Gone. Lyrics are gone. It preserves some things here on a page. You say you don't want to start completely over. You just want to get rid of one certain thing um, or a couple of things. If you notice, going back to clear selected items, you can select all sorts of stuff, multiple things at a time. I can get rid of um, smart shapes assigned to notes. Those would be like the slurs. Now they're gone. I can get rid of, uh, let's see, going back here, expressions. Bang, the, the retardandos just left. Um, if you notice on the next page over here, I could get rid of all that dialogue. This actually belongs to um, a musical. And I, if I just want to get rid of that, clear selected items, those would be expressions. There they go, they're gone. Um, this is a really useful tool that I find that not too many people really know about or utilize. If you take one more look here, you get you get so many options of things to get rid of. Um, you can get rid of notes and rests. Um, that would be pretty damaging. Gets rid of all your notes and rests, but preserves the chords. That could be useful in certain in certain cases. Um, Markings, any sort of markings, lyrics, uh, some some text blocks that are assigned to measures and not notes. All these different special alterations, tie alterations. It, it that can be useful because it doesn't get rid of the um, beams itself. But if you've messed up and you don't like the way things look, you can get rid of your alterations. Sets it back to um, basically back to uh, default. Uh, the MIDI data. Uh, a lot of times if your score is doing something weird, sometimes uh, you have some MIDI data that you can't see on the score doing some weird things to your playback. You can get rid of all that stuff just by clicking there. Certain graphics, if you've messed up on your measure numbers, you can get rid of those. Uh, staff styles, all, all sorts of things. You can get rid of individual things in your score without doing damage to all the stuff you want to keep. This is such a valuable tool and I encourage you to play around with it and use it. Of course, uh, uh, the undo uh, feature is such a great feature no matter what, so you can always play around with it and get used to it. Uh, so if you've enjoyed this lesson, I uh, encourage you to view some of our others on YouTube and check out finalemusiclessons.com. That's one word, finalemusiclessons.com, on how you can get more information about how to take private lessons on the software finale. And uh, spread the word. Let your friends know about it too, all right? Thanks. Bye.